do. White people really come from the Caucasus mountains. Do white people really come from the Caucasus? How Caucasians got their name? The Caucasus is a difficult and complicated place. One Russian political scientist told the Financial Times, referring to the small mountainous region between the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea that comprises Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. Wait, do white people really come from the Caucasus? It's highly unlikely. It is highly unlikely. According to the article, it's highly unlikely that the Caucasus mountain range was the original homeland for people who are now classified as white. The Caucasus Mountains The name Caucasus is a Latinized form of Caucasus, which the ancient Greek geographers and historians used. The Russian Kavkaz is of the same origin. The ultimate derivation is thought to be from Kaz Kaz the name for a people living on the southern shore of the Black Sea. This ancient nomenclature reflects the historical importance of the region. Pliny, the Elders, Natural History, 77, to 79 AD derives the name of the Caucasus from a Scythian name Caucasus, which supposedly means shimmering with snow. German linguist Paul Kreschmer notes that the Latvian word Cuvasis also means ice, actually frozen mud. According to German theologist Otto Schrader and Alphonse A. Nering, the ancient Greek word Caucasus is connected to Gothic Hals, I, as well as Lithuanian Caucasus, Hillock, and Kalkara, Hilltop. British linguist Adrian Room claims that call also means mountain in Pelagian. Well, this is speculative given that Pelagian Aboriginal Greeks is so poorly known. In Greek mythology, the Caucasus mountain range was the scene of the sufferings of Prometheus. In Greek mythology, Prometheus possibly meaning Hawthorne, is a titan god of fire. Prometheus was best known for defying the gods by stealing fire from them and giving it to humanity in the form of technology.
technology, knowledge, and more generally, civilization. Prometheus, the personification of forethought. Dictionary, Oxford Languages, for thought. Careful consideration of what will be necessary or may happen in the future. Roman personifications. Roman personifications consisted in assigning human figures to something that is not human, which often appeared on the sides of Roman coins. Characters from the pantheon of deities of Roman mythology were often used. Roman deities or personifications. Personification ops of wealth. Libertus, personification of freedom. Fortuna, personification of good luck and luck. Canis, personification of singing. Canans, Roman deity of singing. Prometheus. The punishment of Prometheus as a consequence of the death of fire and given it to humans is a popular subject in both ancient and modern culture. Zeus, king of the Olympian gods, sentenced Prometheus to eternal torment for his transgression. Prometheus was bound to a rock and an eagle, the emblem of Zeus, was sent to eat his liver in ancient Greece, the liver was thought to be the seat of human emotions. His liver would then grow back overnight, only to be eaten again the next day in an ongoing cycle. Zeus, with thunderbolts in his hand, king of the Olympian Greek Gods. Zeus is the sky and under God in the ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Wikipedia, Zeus, Zeus is the sky and thunder god in ancient Greek religion who rules as king of the gods on Mount Olympus. Name, Zeus, is the Greek continuation of Zeus, the name of of the Proto-Indo-European God of the Daytime Sky, also called Deus, Fatter, Sky Father, deriving from the root Deu, to shine, and in its many derivatives, Sky, Heaven, God. Wikipedia, Deus, Deus, literally, Daylight Sky God, Deus Factor, literally, Father Daylight Sky God, Deus, 
was conceived as a divine personification of the bright sky of the day and the seat of the gods. Gaius was often paired with Degram, the earth mother, in a relationship of union and contrast. The sky over the feather grass covered steppe in Ukraine, Gaius Fatter, has been translated as Father Daylight Sky God. Zeus, the Olympian king of the Greek gods. Personification of the sky. The literal worship of the sky and calling the sky Zeus. The sky with thunderbolts. Zeus 